You would put this in just like it is? Yeah. Yep. You would just pour that in. Is that a they, gemstone? They, what is that? We test everything before, you know, we're not throwing stuff in there that's got value. But yeah. um, for the most part, yeah, we just throw it in. Buy your gold and silver online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold or silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. Here we are at Accurate Precious Metals Refineries. And check out this building here. Coins, gold, and silver. This looks like my kind of place. Good morning. Good morning. I'm uh, Silver Dragons. Nice to meet you, Silver Dragons. My name is Carlos. Carlos, and yeah. you own this business? We do. Yep, me and my family, my wife, and my son is part of the business here. Hey, how's it Hi. going? Tyler. Tyler, Silver nice Dragons. To nice to meet you. So, father and son team, huh? Yes, yeah. and my wife. And She's my upstairs. Mom. Yep. Okay, <laughs> oh, and mom. <laughs> and my kids. I got, occasionally I have my kids, I have four running around the building. So. Wow, that's awesome. So they'll probably inherit it one day, huh? Yeah, they're like seven months to seven years old. So, wow. you know, my oldest runs around. Yeah, she's pretty comfortable here. That's awesome. So how long have you been here? So we've been here, we uh, moved into the building in 2010. So we first started wholesaling and dealing with um, wholesalers and buying scrap metals from the public, from pawn shops, jewelry stores that were collecting metals at the time. And then from there, we started expanding from buying uh, from wholesalers and opened it up to the public. Great. In 2011. So, okay, so maybe 10 plus years you guys have been around. 10 plus years we've been here. Wow, that's awesome. And you guys do a lot of bullion, coins, bars? We do. We, um, we, like I said, we started with the um, scrap collecting and then we started expanding because we had a lot of requests for the bullion. Sure. And then from there it just took off and we started providing the community with uh, bullion, collector's coins, buying collector's coins, trading collector's coins, and it just kind of escalated and evolved and developed uh, from that point, yeah. Yeah, well I would love to see kind of the smelting stuff, but first maybe can we take a look at some of the bullion and that sure. kind of stuff? Yeah, so we've got a couple cases. Um, we've got this case and the case back here, and we've also expanded into jewelry as uh, we grown so you'll see some of the jewelry but the bullion's over here we've got oh there. yeah look at this hey what's going on hey trent trent hey i'm silver dragons nice to meet you this is darby hey darby nice to meet you nice wow so you guys got uh you guys got bars rounds coins the whole deal yeah oh yeah what do people buy mostly have you noticed as of late i would say mainly silver rounds 10 ounce bars um some of the sovereign coins but it's mainly a lot of people are just looking for the metal content. Same yeah. thing with gold, like the gold bars. A lot of people like the gold eagles, the gold buffaloes, a lot that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I noticed you actually have quite a bit of gold in the case, some fractionals, bigger stuff, but a nice variety too. So people kind of want to pick and choose. Maybe they want a Kruger Grand or like an eagle, as you mentioned. Exactly. Actually, you guys have a little bit of platinum too. We yeah. do. Yeah. Yep comes comes in occasionally yeah <laughs> yeah i found that um most shops they don't prefer the platinum but you know it's, some customers like it's it it's so. slower to move yeah I mean, it still moves but yeah. well it's it's really been underperforming compared to the other metals i think yeah really that's has. true yeah. yeah i mean especially this last week and a half silver and gold <laughs> kind of i don't know what they're doing but <laughs> yeah it's weird like uh gold went to an all-time high and then a few hours later it was down yep Yep, it was uh, it was the ride. Yeah, got pretty busy. It was so, really. Yeah. Well, uh, was it mostly people coming in to buy or sell or both? I'd say leaning more towards people selling because yeah. it, it went up pretty high. So people cashing out, and then I think that was another factor of why it went down and it kind of recovered yeah. along with the dollar recovering some. Yeah. Um, since December first, you know, that's when we saw where it hit the peak and then went down some, and so it's been the main trend as of late. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I noticed your sign over here. This is actually really cool. You guys uh, built this in-house? Someone did all the graphics and stuff? Yeah, we these are all our own shots. We have a team back here. We got other oh, hiding. <laughs> oh, look at this. I'm Silver Dragons. I'm James. James? I'm Noble, nice to meet you. Noble, nice to meet you, wow. Yeah, you guys got a big crew here. Yeah, they do all our photography and then 
James has been pushing me, you need to get on social media. And so he's been shooting videos with me. And, uh, but yeah, all our own shots, all these coins are them taking their own, our own products. And wow. So a lot of our stuff's in house. And this is Justin. I don't think you can Hey, Justin. Nice to meet you. Silver Dragons, so, nice to meet you. Yeah, for the audience, if they call in or visit us, they're going to be mainly seeing Trent, Darby, Justin, and then my dad and I. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> So you're the mom and the wife. Yep, that's right. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm Silver Dragons. Nice to meet you. Desiree, nice to meet you. Desiree, nice to meet you. Wow, you got a little uh, tray here. Yeah, this is what we just pulled uh, for our cases today. Wow, I like the um, the Libertans, if I may. Yeah, yeah, please. Okay. Yeah, I like the older style Libertan. I think a little bit better if I had to pick. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so what's this assortment here? So this is some stuff that we bought over the counter. Okay. Uh, so. These were just pulled this morning. Yeah, this morning. So it'll be, you know, whatever we get over the counters, which always changes. You know, sometimes it's just the generic stuff or sometimes we get some really unique pieces. It's the Libertads or proofs or graded coins or, you know, older bullion like the um, A Mark or Johnson Matthew. A lot of people like those, oh, collect yeah. those you know. Um, so it just always changes. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool to see a variety of stuff. There's looks like one serial number in between these bars. Maybe they held onto that metal Possibly, one. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like these 20 francs too. You got a little Swiss miss right here. Yeah. Yeah, those are super cool. I noticed you have another case back here. So yeah. kind of multiple bullion stations. Yeah, well, I mean, we have multiple stations everywhere and just that way we can just have space. Yeah. It can get really busy. And so that way we just kind of spread them out. And yeah, that's actually really cool because a lot of shops you walk in, there's one counter, you know, sure. one guy selling and, and a lot of people end up just waiting and, yeah. you know, the ability to have more people kind of look at stuff is really cool. Sure. Yep. No, turnaround time is really quick. It's minutes if you know what you want. Yeah. If you yeah. know what you want, you're already familiar with it, you're in and out real quick, so. Yeah. And honestly, I mean, your guys' selection is really cool. I'm liking that uh, proof. Can we take a look at that? Uh, yeah. Uh, proof buffalo there wow check that out that would be a good uh, christmas present for the wifey huh exactly yeah <laughs> <laughs> she'll thank you later she'll be well then i gotta get one for each of my kids you know so <laughs> i'd really be in it then <laughs> yeah. wow no very cool stuff looks like uh is that perth mint maybe the little yeah, the little one ounce bar yeah. so because you guys do um refining smelting and stuff here do you make any of your own products at all or no we don't no yeah. have people asked for that oh yeah they yeah. have yeah they've asked just the cost of getting your dyes designed it, yeah it's not something where a lot of people ask because they yeah. know that we melt stuff yeah we buy gold scrap of all kinds i like, mean we you make turn bars. into bars <laughs> yeah, yeah. We make maybe bars, someday. but we don't <laughs> stamp it and, right <laughs> yeah well, uh, can we see some of the process sure. or the sure. equipment? Yeah. So it's just this room back here. Wow. Got two furnaces. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, uh, these machines get really hot, as you can imagine. Yeah. Uh, you just fire them up and pour the metals in. This is where these are our molds. We got various sizes depending on what we're doing. Wow. So walk me through the process. So I see you have some yeah. scrap here. Yep. So this would be something you guys bought from like pawn shops yeah, or, or just individuals? Yeah, group for demonstrations yep and then uh, we basically prepare it you know what a lot of people don't know is a lot of your jewelry can have air pockets mm. so we go through and we cut all the jewelry that might have air pockets we don't want stuff popping in the furnace all right you know, they'll, they'll they'll pop and you know when you're learning it, yeah it can so, as, so has this you. been prepared here yeah you would put this in just like it is yeah yep you would just pour that in Wow, um, even with like the like plastic, I, I, is that a they, gemstone? They, what is that? I mean, exactly. No, we test everything before, you know, we're not throwing stuff in there that's got value. But yeah, um, for the most part, yeah, we just throw it in um, substantial pieces. We might take it out just so it doesn't have a, a huge weight yeah. um, uh, movement, but most of it melts down. Um, and then we use uh, borax, which then kind of purifies and starts um, combining and uh, purifying all the slag and pulling everything off. So uh, once you pour it in, it gets really hot, obviously, and melts <laughs> yeah. it down to, you know, it's kind of like, a, it's a liquid, you know, melts like butter. It literally, you'll just see it just dissolve. Wow. It's, it's pretty cool. And then you just uh, put a bunch of borax in there and it purifies. And then we, um, 
you would heat up the mold. Yeah, you don't want to pour it in cold. I know that. No, that's <laughs> a big no-no. That's You're going to set your floor on fire. Yeah, you don't want hot stuff falling on the floor. Right. And especially at this temperatures. So you um, pour it in here. Yep. And then and then where do you go from there? Um, so we you let it cool. You know, at this point, things cool really quickly. Really quickly. So it'll firm into a bar within a minute or so that you can actually can't handle it but you can move it and so you would then put it into water and just okay. cool that down really fast and then you've got it from that point all the slag will start breaking off and and then you pretty much if you do it right you know and you use the proper amount of borax then you'll get a nice clean bar wow yeah. and so then are you able to test it and figure out the purity yep. and yep so there's two methods i mean uh normally our go-to is just a drill sample we'll just drill right into the bar wow okay and just pull out samples uh that's kind of tried and true that way we can get to the center of the bar to get really accurate uh samples the other one is with the pin sample which are these glass tubes and then you basically just dip it in and then you come out with a little Oh, it sticks to it? Yeah. Well, it act, yeah, it sticks to it and it just kind of absorbs it. So it's just like a little cylinder. Oh, just interesting. A little gold, it's a pin. It's yeah. a gold pin. So that's another way of getting samples. Uh, from that point, it's literally, it's it's done. So um, you would just, we just throw it in the safe. Yeah. yeah. The public never would buy this from you, no. right? This no. is something you'd have so to we, sell. So we would send, uh, we would basically sell this on the open market and kind of the benefit of us is that we sell these back to like the mints or these large suppliers and then we exchange it for a really competitive rate for bullion. Oh, okay. So you just trade it for coins or whatever and then... We trade it for finished products. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's very cool. Sure. Well, I'll yeah. definitely have to come back uh, when you guys get your uh, machine up and running here and maybe we could do a, you know, a video actually yeah. watching the process. Yeah, it would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's something people don't really get to see every day. Right. What yeah. uh, What's this machine here? It looks pretty impressive. It's an x-ray analyzer. And this is, it's called empirical method. And we've got other gut, we've got other methods that we also test. We have x-ray guns that also analyze um, the metal. But the methods is, it's called empirical method, which we had to do to analyze, to, get this machine accurate is we had to get samples from 1%, 5% gold, 10%, um, 20%, all the way to 100%. And then we load it into the machine. And based on, based on what the elements are in the gold or in the sample, it basically extracts the data and gives us the analysis to 99.9% .9 accuracy. Wow. So it's extremely accurate, but it's based on standards that we implement into or input into the unit. So we right. input um, nickel, input silver, input copper, um, tungsten. So all the elements, palladium, that could be in existence in our samples, we had to input. So it was a so it's very- like calibrating It's it. calibrating, oh, exactly. Okay. It's, it's, it's very expensive. All the really, samples like, it costs quite a bit, huh? Yeah, to do that calibration. <laughs> Probably like rhodium too, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> and it's it's quite the process and quite the bill to and calibrate it, these things. And this will actually take an X-ray. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow, so I mean, this could be, if it malfunctions, you could turn into the Incredible Hulk or something, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> Yeah. So, and this gun is also an x-ray machine? It is. This is also an x-ray machine. Like, for example, I can just shoot that, and it gives me the reading. So... Wow, look at that. This one's 99 plus. I would say 99.9, actually, because this is extremely accurate as well, because we tested it against it. But it's, um, but get, it's a fundamental ahead. parameter yep. method on this one, which that means is basically all the methods that were calibrated with this machines were 100%, 100%, 24 karat gold, and basically 100% um, on all the elements mm. that was programmed into the machine. Sure. In addition, and that's why it's important we take samples, because these machines are extremely accurate, but they don't necessarily uh, penetrate super deep. So that's right. where we pull the pins, or I, I prefer we uh, take drill samples out from the center of the bar, and that way I can see what's in the center. And right. then we flatten it out because it is an x-ray, so technically as it comes into the metal, it 
technically will bounce depending on the surface area. Mm. So we flatten those samples out so that way it comes right back into the machine properly. So even though these x-ray machines don't go very deep, if you pull something out from the middle of the bar, I mean, yeah. you're, you're, you're at the middle. That's right. <laughs> Even though you're testing the surface of that piece, it came from the middle. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about it like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Well, you guys have a very impressive setup here, I got to say. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool to see it. And uh, definitely I'll have to come back when you get your uh, uh, furnace going and, and watch a little demonstration, huh? Yeah, we would love to have you back. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for coming. Yep. Nice to meet all of you. Good to meet you. Yep. Take care. See you guys. Thanks for coming in. Yep.